everyone welcome to my channel today I'm gonna be doing this cool at crease purpley I want to do something special because I'm going to convention soon and I'm actually going to probably upload this video either the day before or the day that I go to convention so I wanted to show you something special that I definitely created for the convention and I wanted to show my unique pride I did like a goldy purple cut crease thing I don't even know how what to call it I guess I'm just gonna call it my special unique eye makeup I guess that's what I want to call it. And also for my cocktail today, I'm going to show you how to take a regular beer and turn it into a summer cocktail. And so it's not just like a regular beer. I guess that's the best way to explain it. But yeah, so keep on watching. I will start with a cocktail and then we will get in on this, this, this eye makeup look next. Hey everyone. Okay, I don't know why I just said that. I already said that before. Um, so today's cocktail is actually going to be like a how to, I don't know, what am I trying to say? It's actually how to take your husband's beer and make it better for you. Um, it's how to take a twist on some beer. So I wanted to take one of my husband's beer that, beers? Beer? Is that plural? One of my husband's beers make it better so that I could drink it because I was tired of drinking regular beer this summer so I wanted to make it fancy. Fancy. So I took one of his, um, this is a summer ale. What is it? Summer Nights Back Porch uh, Audacity House in Denton, Texas. So it's seasonal. It's called Audacity Brew House in Denton, Texas. Um, so it's kind of like a just a light and sweet, perfect for enjoying on a summer night. It is experimental hops giving aromas of pears, oranges, spice, and blended with coriander to accentuate the citrus. I was doing my homework and I realized that a lot of IPAs and a lot of ales and these kind of hoppy summer beers that guys like to drink are actually really good with citrus. And so I'm making a beer lemonade. Uh, I guess I can call this a beer lade. No, that sounds wrong. We'll just continue with beer lemonade. <laughs> you take your glass, you take your beer. Then fill the rest with lemonade. This is Simply Lemonade by, oh it is Simply Lemonade, that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, garnish with a little lemon because you're fancy and fancy people do that. So, cheers. This is definitely easier to drink in the summer day. Beer sometimes can leave you with this nasty aftertaste, especially the hoppy ones. Yeah, mix it with lemonade. The, some of the recipes that I found were actually mixed with orange juice, but I realized today that my orange juice is expired. So I had to improvise and I decided to try it with lemonade and it's delicious. And so I was like, done, it's lemonade, lemonade time, beer laid, I'm still not, that's not gonna work. Stop trying to make fetch happen. Fetch is not gonna happen. That was easy. <laughs> I hope that you continue watching to see my summer unique convention eye makeup, special magical makeup, that's what I did. Enjoy! All right, so let's go ahead and get started on this. I start with my base, and I actually use concealer because I really want it to have a very clean surface, and so I wanted to start with concealer instead of any other base. Then I start out with setting that concealer with Elated, that's in the Moodstruck Addiction Palette number one. And then I also go back into that palette and use Chipper and I'm going to create my transition shade. It's very important to do a transition, especially when you're working with colors so that it doesn't look like it's all bunchy and gross and you definitely want to make sure it's like that. <laughs> then I take Flirty and I take a very synthetic flat brush and I apply it dry and it's all over the lid. And so I still, since I'm doing a crease, uh, a cut crease, I want to make sure there is a very distinct line at the crease. So I'm only going to go up to there and then I'm going to wet it with some rose water and apply it wet. That way it, I make sure that it stays a very vibrant color and I want to make sure it really stands out. Then with the pigment and royal, oops, excuse me, regal, and <laughs> I take a flat rounded brush and I'm going to go on my crease. Um, if you want to see more in depth on how to do a cut crease, I'm going to put that video up here on YouTube. I'm going to put it so you can watch it next after this one so you can see in depth exactly how to do this. And then I'm going to take my Tardis uh, black liner. I noticed this one works great with pigments because it doesn't have that shininess come through. It's a black, black, black. And so I really wanted that with this one. That's why I chose this particular one for my cat eye. And I'm going to link the the cut crease with the liner. I'm going to close it off to make like a V at the end. And so instead of keeping it open, which I did in my last video, I'm going to close it off and have that wing and the crease meet together at the end. Then I'm going to line my waterline with the same Tardis 
black, it has two ends. And then with the gold, this is the MAC um, liquid, I call my liquid gold, that's why I can't remember what it's called all of a sudden. Um, and I'm going to take that into the crease. And so instead of using a black to define that crease, I'm taking the gold to define that crease. And then I'm going to go into my tear duct with the pigment in Sexy and then curl my lashes before I apply some fake ones. I do prime them with a little bit of a mascara and then I go in with lashes in a box. This is at number 16. They are super duper easy to apply and for $25 you can get 10 pairs of lashes. I mean, how can you beat that? <laughs> And then I'm going to go into my lower lash line with the liner shader brush by Unique. I'm going to take that liner side and I'm going to take Regal and then go really, really, really close to the lash line with that and really, really tight. So I'm not going to go all the way over. I'm just going to stay close towards the outer V and kind of go towards the middle. And then we're going to smoke that out and blend it out with the neutral color. So we're going to take Elated and Chipper and we're going to blend those together so it looks well blended and no harsh lines. Then I'm going to put mascara on the bottom. I do use fibers because it makes it look like it pops a whole lot more. Then I'm going to take my lip liner in Pouty and line my lips before I apply my lipstick. This one is in Conceited. This is a really pretty pouty pink and so I thought it went well with pouty. You see the theme here. <laughs> and then I am going to apply the lucrative, lucrative lip gloss in Loyal. This is a clear lip gloss and it's gorgeous for this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly, 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 truly appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel and please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And you can also buy any of the unique products here at my website or you can also find me on all social media. Um, I have it all listed right here. You can find me on Facebook, Makeup and Cocktails, and also if you want to host your own party, you can earn your own free makeup. I know. Just comment below or let me know if you'd like more information for that. I hope that you enjoy this summer cocktail because summer is almost over and I feel like last year I had the exact same feeling. I love summer and I don't want it to end ever, 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 ever. Well, I will be having fun at convention when this video goes live and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day or night or wherever you are. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.